Vic. Hello, bro. How you doing today? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm approximately normal. Yeah, it's always good to see you, and always good to have you in the studio. Thank you. Okay, yeah, uh, we saw Benin Republic going toe to toe with Rwanda. Of course, is uh, uh, World Cup qualifiers. Beautiful game of football today, and it ended in Benin Republic winning the match, lone goal, one goal to nil. Um, I would like to get your thoughts about the matchup. Mm. So when we say that the Benin Republic, that the, their stadium was uh, disqualified mm. to host this uh, um, uh, Africa, uh, World Cup qualifiers, mm. African uh, region. Mm. So they couldn't uh, present a good stadium and they, were, um, they made an arrangement to play from Abidjan. So today this game was played in Abidjan. Um, so Benin Republic versus Rwanda. Okay, fine. Um, there is one thing remarkable about this team. And that is to tell you that this team is being coached by um, a top gaffer when it comes to um, the coaching class of this world. I'm talking about the great Kenneth Raw. Mm. Nigerians know Kenneth Raw so well yeah, that uh, he coached the national team, the Super Eagles, for, for five years. Yeah, for five years between... Um, um, 2006 to 2016 to 2021. That was the time he spent with the Super Eagles. And uh, um, one great thing about this guy, apart from his laurel, I need to mention his laurel, um, bronze. We won bronze in the Nations Cup with him. But then, um, in 2021, when um, he wasn't able to carry the Nations Cup, but then, he did something, and that stuff was to take Nigeria to the qualifying level, the qualifying run of the World Cup qualifiers. And uh, it was looking so, so nice, but then um, uh, he was uh, shown the door, and what happened? Nigeria could not qualify for the 20, um, uh, 2022 um, uh, FIFA World Cup that was hosted uh, by the Caterians. Mm -hmm. So... I see Genetro as a, a right candidate that could also qualify for the World Cup from this group. When we say, oh, come on, we have South Africa, we have Nigeria, what is the Benin Republic doing here? But then you've seen them today playing fine football, and at the 37th minute, we saw their fine um, baller, Dodo, scoring a goal. Dodo that plays in, in Egypt, Smuha of, uh, of Egypt. The guy came in and scored a very, very wonderful goal. And uh, it's, it's looking um, uh, laughable that uh, Rwanda <laughs> are topping the group where Nigeria and South Africa are. They can't position Benin Republic, but then when we say, okay, by, by uh, Friday night, we should be knowing the scores between Nigeria and, uh, South, and South Africa so that we say, okay, is it going to stay like this? Because if both sides get a draw, the table has to just uh, remain like this. But at the end of the day, we saw a good, good football, fine football. Um, the Benin Republic with their young, young stars out there. Um, the Dodo guy that scored today, he's just 20, 20 years old. But then you see a team that uh, they are building, and they are building so, so well. But then you ask now the, uh, the challenging question. These two sides, um, Benin Republic and Rwanda, do they have what it takes to go and represent Africa? In the World Cup, because you know that Africa Good has question. been. Good uh, question. Uh, okay, Good question. thank you so much. Good because question. you know that uh, <laughs> many a times, uh, oh, come on. Okay, aside um, uh, Qatar and uh, aside Qatar 2002, and uh, you have the 20, 2008 World Cup. Was it 2008? 2006 World Cup, I think. The one that Senegal, 2002. The 2002 World Cup, where um, Senegal. Um, they were the ones that just took Africa up, up the ladder. Mm. Back then, it was Africa coming to the World Cup, but they get white was the kind of beating that they beat them, <laughs> especially in Cameroon. That was one that they beat Cameroon. In fact, they came back and it was just like a new war has started in Cameroon because of the beating that they beat them in the World Cup. So these two teams, you have a Benin Republic that is at 97 position in the world. <sighs> and you are going to, they are going to represent Africa. What about uh, Rwanda? 135. Ranked 135 in the world, so just imagine this. this. I'm not talking down on them, yeah, but them. Exactly. We are talking about uh, these clubs, these uh, these uh, national teams need to 
coming to the Nations Cup, slug it out. If you're talking about uh, teams like Namibia mm. going to the World Cup, I will say, okay, good and fine. If you're talking about uh, um, which other team Mama going to, Equatorial Guinea, you say, fine, these guys, they, sh they should walk in. If you're talking about DRU Congo, you say, okay, these guys should walk in do during the Nations Cup. But at the end of the day today, I enjoyed the game, and I hope you too did. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's all about uh, the love and passion for African football, especially in this World Cup qualifiers. Beautiful. Now, if you're watching this for the very first time, welcome. This is Football Intel. If you have not yet subscribed to this, please do so. Click on the notification bell so that you can be receiving top-notch content as this nature. We have a vision here on this platform, and that's placing African football on the world map. And we are not going to relent until that becomes a reality. And to those of you already who are subscribers, who have been enjoying our top-notch content, we thank you so much for the likes and shares on our channel. And then we also crave your indulgences to please share these videos on all your social media platforms, on Facebook, on X, on Twitter, on Instagram. Let the whole world there know the beauty of African football. So keep liking, keep sharing, keep commenting. Don't stop bringing those comments because those comments of yours, they help us to know how you guys feel about the content which we create here on this platform. All right, so I'm going to be drawing the curtain at this point. I still remain your host of this top-notch platform, Mr. Dominion Chooks, and of course doing this with me all the time. No other person than my top-notch soccer analyst, Mr. Victor Sioku, we both are saying bye for now.